Where's my water? Where did you do it? I didn't touch your water. Where's my water? I didn't touch your water. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, ya idiots. Yeah. My name, me llamo, me llamo El Corban. Me llamo es Ricardo. Es, uh... Welcome and bienvenue, welcome, come on in. Thank you for your social Patreon, follow our official Twitter account. The content here is freaking juicy, so put on a bib. <laughs> Today we are reacting to a little, uh, ad. Aw, how uh, little is it? Is it one of those little tiny ones that walks in and says, Hello, I am your dad. This is called Man Enough. Uh -huh. Shaving Stereotypes. Right on. From Gillette. Excellent. Wait a minute. Man Enough Shaving Stereotypes. Gillette, India. So I think there's a little uh, something. Uh, they gave me a little, a little synopsis. A little uh, commercial with you. <clears throat> note. Is that where I should be reading? Yes, note. By presenting the real life story of Luke Ten Oh great, I'm doing it silly and it's probably gonna be very meaningful. Wow, you're a terrible person. <sighs> really? By presenting the real life story of Lieutenant Colonel MK Sina SM, retired, and his father, we wanna pave the way for a new understanding of manliness and strength that the next generation of men should aspire to. That excites me. Cool. Let's just get into it. Uh, and it's just a short little ad, so. Cool. It's a bit, I've, there are some ads, it's an art form in and of itself, what advertisers have to come up with and the people who create them in such a, I have seen ads where I have been captured emotionally within the first 10 seconds. That is so hard. Yeah. So, um, here we go. Let's see. That's the toughest man I know. Air Force veteran Vishwanath Sinha, my dad. I remember as a child, I was chased by an angry bull and I ran straight towards him, crying. He held me in his arms and said, wipe those tears off. You are a man. I guess I stopped crying because I wanted to be like him, tough and strong. No matter how hard you take an egg, no tears. And so I hid. I hid my pain like Dad would want me to. <coughs> I did not want him to see my wounds. That I am weak. I was being a man. But this time, he didn't ask me to wipe my tears off. Yep. In it, uh, that a lot of men need to hear. Um, a lot of men. A lot of a lot of men need to hear that. That even though, like you, you guys know, I'm not I'm not an emotional person at all. But it's not because I don't feel like I can't. 
It's, no, it's totally different. Yeah, it's the like, fact that the fact that you don't cry like the joke of make yeah, Corbin cry yeah. is completely different. Yeah, from men who refuse to cry because they consider it to be a weakness. You're not that kind of a no, man. No, at I, all. Don't, I so, don't. I don't care what people think about exactly. Me. <laughs> no, it's just it, and I, I, it is. I am so. I'm really, really grateful that I grew up with a man as an example for me. My dad. Mm -hmm. Who and not just my dad. This is actually a, a, an interesting, ongoing conversation I've been having with Indrani because I've shown her some of the films that I grew up with that shaped me mm -hmm. into the man that I am. Mm -hmm. Was gonna go know you thing, and I hadn't really thought about it until I was talking about her, and, about the films I saw and how those films taught me what masculinity is. Because the films that I saw were the same masculinity I saw in my dad, which was simultaneously incredibly strong, alpha, mm -hmm. and emotionally available and vulnerable. The quintessential example of that is Rocky. Rocky is a guy who will get in a street fight, he's a brawler, he's got guts, he can snarl, and he's completely unafraid to cry and be emotional and express his love and words and physical touch. Yep. And a lot of my male role models growing up where my dad was that way, Stallone and his films was that way. Uh, uh, Mel Gibson's Braveheart was a, both a lover and a fighter. But there are millions of men, not only in India, everywhere, all over the world, here in the United States, it's huge, oh, yeah. who will tell their sons Men don't cry, and that is BS, guys. But there, there is no crying in baseball. That's what, yeah, that is true. That's true. You no don't, crying in baseball. If you don't know what we're referring to, go watch League of Their Own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, but I, yeah, no. This was a fantastic message. I, I grew up with uh, two fathers. Uh, my my father, who's in the military, and then my stepfather, who's uh, not in the military. <laughs> Not relevant, but <laughs> well, you know, he's not in the military. But uh, both uh, have always been able to, um, you know, show their emotions mm -hmm. and also be manly men. My, my stepfather, he's a very well dressed metro, they, I think he'd be called technically metrosexual yeah. in terms because he's just a well dressed man. Right. He likes, he loves shopping, he loves shoes, he mm -hmm. likes, he's that type of person, but he's also not, he's a very, he's a manly man. He's not afraid to show his emotions. My dad, He's a manly man. He builds stuff. He's in the military. He yeah. Teaches people how to shoot specialized weapons. Mm -hmm. it's like he's a manly man. But never. It's just I never got that emotional side of me, which is one of the issues that I take when, because I agree that this is a message that I will teach my son that it's okay to cry. Right. You're, you're okay to show your emotions, but also I I've seen comments that said Corbin, it's okay for you to cry. Yeah, it's like guys, some some he people knows just that. don't show emotion in that way. And it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I can't help that my eyes don't right. tear up when I get emotional. It's I a, said in films, like, that was a really emotional moment. Right. I could feel the emotion. He's, yeah, guys, <laughs> Corbin doesn't have a wall. I mean, he does the personal work as an actor. He just doesn't get the connection into the biology of his eyeballs. No, it, it just doesn't go. I don't think I have tear ducts. <laughs> they, might be, they might have been taken out yeah. of birth or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is a, a, a Great love the message. Is... I, I love that Gillette, I didn't know that they actually have a cause, an organization about redefining uh, masculinity, mm -hmm. which I do know through... Uh, Obviously, Indrani and I talk about everything, and that's one of the things, her being someone who was born and raised and grew up in India, that there, to this day, still is a pervasive stereotype for a lot of Indians, like there are here in the United States, mm -hmm. that men don't cry. Mm -hmm. And that if a man cries, he's showing he's weak. And it's just a lie. I've actually discovered, and the other thing that helps this is being an actor, you are, have to be emotionally available. So mm -hmm. being an artist, it's, it's just natural. I've, I've been around men that cry. The natural response that I've seen for men crying is to hold each other and to talk and to hold hands and to just be expressive. And, but there are a lot of circles where young men need to hear and see, especially from their dads, that crying is a human mm -hmm. expression and it actually takes strength. It takes more strength for a man to be vulnerable than it does for them to hide what they're feeling. Absolutely. Way more strength. Absolutely. To do that.
It's easy to hide what you're feeling. It, it, it is very easy to hide yeah. what you're feeling. <laughs> There's nothing meritorious in it either. Um, and I, I think it's changing. Well, I don't know about India, but in, in the United States, it's changing. Of, it is. Uh, obviously, with the newer generations of def redefining basically what, what is manly and what is what is not manly, uh, or also what is required of men mm -hmm. and what is required of women um, and how you don't have to conform to whatever that is. Now, do you remember when President Obama, after this, I don't remember which school shooting it was out of the five, 6,000 we've had in the past 15 years, yes. when he was commenting on the school shooting and one of the biggest pe thing people commented on was the fact that he actually shed tears. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a big deal here in America because it was the first time possibly ever that a president allowed himself to shed tears openly and in public. And there were some people who said he was putting on a show, which is a lie. Um, yeah, and there were certain it, networks that said he was weak because he was... Gone. Right, that he was weak by... Doing, I think you can guess what network that is. Yeah, but and I think you can <laughs> guess our opinion that I thought it was a really beautiful yeah. moment and a signal for the change that has happened yeah. of toxic masculinity... Yeah turning into toxic masculinity is a real thing it, it is it's not saying masculinity is toxic it is saying certain things about like if you require certain things of men is a toxic thing yeah like if you say men can't cry if you think men can only have to be tough and have to fight it's like if you think just manliness is the ultimate goal of the, the old school term of manliness that's toxic yes it's not saying manliness all manliness is toxic i'm very proud of the fact <laughs> that i know how to field dress a deer and I also know how to do a pirouette and land in a plie. Is field dress a deer a euphemism? <laughs>